Welcome to my free trading series about the best traffic sources for affiliate marketing and we're talking about YouTube influencers. Hi, my name is Lucas from Affiliate Marketing Game and here is a module number three. First two modules was like a proper preparation before you find the YouTube influencers. But if you know how to hide your searches, how to not burn them, how to f uh, which offers you should go for, which uh, niches you should go for, because you cannot do every, you cannot promote all of the niches with YouTube influencers. If you know all of this, all this stuff, if you really experienced marketer, then by no means just stay with this module. Yet, if you new to in, uh, internet marketing, if you're new to affiliate marketing, please click this card and that takes you to module number one and module number two. This is first part of finding YouTube influencers where I'm going to show you how to find them and on part number two I'm going to show you how to double check that they're really not scammers. So let's go and let's learn how to do this. For this step, we're going to use the website called channelcrawl.com. There is a link down below this video and small pop-up on your screen now. Uh, there is a paid version of this website, which is of course more helpful and you can find uh, influencers much faster yet. It's quite expensive. That's why let's stick for the free with the free version right now. There's a, uh, however, there's a few options we, we can choose to find the YouTube influencers. The first one is a channel name. Normally, if you go with the paid version, all you're doing is just placing like a keyword around your niche or you're placing keyword uh, like around your tag, keyword tag around your niche. Uh, with the free version, uh, unfortunately, we can use only few options. One of them is a channel name. So, for example, here I placed it already woodworking because the product I like to promote is around, around woodworking. So if you place any word here, it will find all the channels with this keyword inside the name. Uh, sometimes can be tricky because as you know, uh, and it's more tricky with make money online or with uh, diets where some people they're using only them names, including niche, even like a woodworking. But that's the price, that's the price we have to pay if you like to use the free version. So what you can do now is inside the channel name, you can put keywords, group of keywords. Actually, you can put only one now, but you can you can you have to find the group of keywords that are around your niche. So, for example, if there is like a woodworking can be joinery, carving, scroll word, woodwork, because woodwork is different than woodworking, woodcraft or similar or handwork or handyman. Uh, so but handyman is more broad. But you get my point. So that's the channel name. Uh, other option, you've got categories. Here, if your product is around pets, you can use pets and animals, so it's much easier. But if your uh, product is more broad, then I suggest you just to leave this empty and follow with the channel names and try to find uh, channels by uh, uh, keywords inside, inside the names. Language, I choose uh, English, you can choose whatever you like it, but if you're promoting some English focus uh, product, then you obviously choose in language English here. A country doesn't really matter. In fact, if a uh, channel is outside uh, United States or tier one, tier, tier two countries like you know, European Union countries, then you can find far cheaper creators where they, they're more than happy to promote your product for like a $10, sometimes even less. So it's better just to leave empty and focus on countries outside tier one, tier two uh, zone. Subscribers, minimum is 2000. Uh, reason being is because if someone's got, yeah, and my channel is around 1000 when I'm recording this video, but uh, for 1000, someone can just buy the subscribers if they, uh, if they want to be monetized inside the YouTube and they can buy YouTube like a watching hours and subscribers just to be monetized. If someone's got 2000 subscribers, you've got higher chance for these people just to build uh, them subscriber base on on them videos. Plus, if you that's another benefit if you use in niches around hobbies, because most of the hobbies, the people they just creating videos in the sake of creating videos because they love what of whatever they are doing. So they're not really happy, they're not really thinking, they don't know even how to buy subscribers. 
and up to wherever you like it. Bear in mind if you choose higher number here with maximum amount of subscribers, more subscribers this uh, YouTube channel has got, more money you're going to pay for it. So I just choose 100,000 for now. Total views doesn't really matter. To uh, amount of videos, you can choose 50 plus. Why is because uh, the first video are the, uh, videos are not the best ones. And if someone's got already like a 2000 subscribers, probably he's got more than 50, 50 videos. Or you can choose 30 to be on a safe position. But 50 is the sweet spot for me. Uh, creation date, minimum three months, even more. Because you don't want completely fresh YouTube channels. Once again, if someone's got the fresh YouTube channels, channel with, uh, and I show you how to find uh, how old the YouTube channel is. If someone's got like a fresh YouTube channel with uh, 2000 subscribers and more, that means he just purchased these subscribers. And you're clicking search. Once you click search here, then you've got a uh, list all of all of the channels they found. You've got flag, which is the country where the channel has been created or person just creating videos from. And you can focus on uh, countries from outside of the EU and United States. Yet I would just, I suggest you just to go for each of the channels step by step. Here we've got a number, number, amount of subscribers, videos, amount of videos they created, total views, and when, which is also important, when last time they created or they released the video. Uh, like if it is like fresh video, there's a higher chance that this YouTuber is releasing new videos. From the other hand side, if there is like a YouTube channel with good amount of subscribers, good amount of videos, but a person hasn't created the video like a last month or two, there's a quite high chance that he just gave up, but he's still gathering uh, views. So you can, uh, you can contact him and I'll show you later on how you can contact him and you can offer him much less money and he will get whatever you give him because he's not really interested in creating another videos. So that's both the signs of the coins here. So now you have to open every single of these YouTube channels and we have to and just follow my plan of how I'm finding and how I'm searching through these channels. So the first look is the banner on the top. Why? Uh, first and foremost, how is really looking? Because let me show you a different banner. Let's say this one. Say this YouTube channel. Oh, come on. Okay. So with this YouTube channel, it's about the shop. But you can see that we've got plenty of information. So if you can, if you see this kind of YouTube banner where there is like a website or phone number, you can just simply go and skip this YouTube channel. With this one, banner looks nice. And what you're looking for is you're looking for any links. If there is only like a Facebook page, if there is only like an Instagram or other such a media, that's completely fine. If you can see some shop or website, then it's like a first sign that this person you know what he's doing as like a less chance that he really want to cut some deal with you. The second place you go in is about section because here once again you can find date the product the channel had been created. It's like back 2006 is very old channel, but it doesn't mean he start to release the videos back 2006, but he's he's created the account with YouTube channel. So it's not some brand new purchase, just purchase account. Here we've got not many informations, which is good sign. But that shows me like there is not like this person is not really focused on SEO. So it's a high chance he, he don't know really what he's doing and he's really happy to cut some good deal with us. Here we've got the website by check this website already is just taking you to some weird website, which is I'm not going to open here even. Instagram, Facebook doesn't show much. So we go in now when we check the banner, there is no like a links a part of you know social links when we check the about section we go in down and we look in under any of the videos here we've got already red sign for me because you've got plans and products of etsy but let me show you step by step so now we go into the latest video opening the ad here which is quite obvious 
Okay, and now we go in under the uh, description box and we're looking for links. Once again, if there is some social media link, fine. Makers, uh, makers, uh, brag, uh, like some book group on Facebook, okay. Email, which is good, so we know how to contact the person. Uh, mer merch store, completely fine. He's just monetizing his channel. Plants and products on Etsy. So he's selling his own plants and products. So if I like to promote woodworking plants, that's a straight sign to me like he's not going to be interested in my offer. And he's also monetizing. He's also monetizing with Amazon, which is completely fine because he just know what he's doing. Uh, but you, even the description is looks very professional. It's good, but it's not really good for us because we can see that he's really, really know what he's doing. This guy, he's even placed like a music where he where he took from. And yeah, so I wouldn't follow this YouTube channel. Actually, we're in terms of you know making deal with him because he looks like he knows already too much in order for us to cut a good deal with him. So let's go for the next channel. Let's close this one. Let's go for the next channel. Woodworking tools. This uh, channel is from outside of tier one, tier two country. Let's let's have a look on the banner. It's just simple banner, but there, you can't find any leaks. Let's go to the about section. Inside the about section, there is a business email, which is good. Uh, so we can find out how to contact with him by simple Gmail account. So it's not like a proper business. Once again, you can't find any other links here, which is good sign to uh, for us. So we going down, opening the latest video. You see, this is fast to find this influencers. At least this step is very fast to find the influencers just to go for the next one. But I'm just show one more example. So, okay, so this video, we go in under the description. Nothing. There's no description whatsoever. There is no comments, which is not good. It's only two likes, which is not good for 251 views. But I don't think he purchased these views only because, you know, it's like he don't really know what he's exactly he's doing. And if you probably you won't see these tags and everything because in the VIQ, VIQ, uh, uh, application but don't worry too much about that because we're not we're not looking for tax of now for now so this video showed me that he's not he's don't really know what he's doing there's no proper description he's got no links whatsoever so he will be more than happy to you know to cut with us very good deal let's open one more video quick there is an ad which is nice because you know, if he's monetized by YouTube, that means he's not doing some shady stuff with his videos, which is also a good sign. He's got some comments, but he's holding, he didn't populate them. Let's go for the... But now at least he gave the music, which is good. But once again, nothing, nothing here. No description, no SEO, 12 likes, nice. Nice, he's got some likes, he's got some comments, he didn't populate it, but it's a good sign he's like, is like healthy channel so we're going to stick with this one let's go for another one you can see that's the one here uh don't look on these statistics now i show you the website where you can find all of the statistics later on the step number two so once again banner is just a name but it's very unprofessional i would say which is sometimes good sign let's go about section he's got an email he's, uh, he's in canada there is some Facebook group. Feel free to drop me on the line. Okay, but it's just a Facebook group, uh, Facebook page. He's got some website. Let's have a look quick. Okay, there are some articles. Free patterns, gallery, social media, little about me, but there's no shop, store, whatever. Great, but it's really nice looking website, simple website. But it's nothing to be worried about. Facebook, Instagram, great. Going back to home page. Going to the first video, maybe second video. Okay, that's his intro. 
let's talk about description, not much, some few words, but nothing special, no links, great, we stick with this one, go for another one, woodworking machines, banner, nothing there, no links whatsoever, it's just simple wood, go into a bound section, nothing, Bulgaria, and just his name, that's all, let's go to the videos, It's about some sword. We might find some links about with a uh, Amazon link to the saw or something because it's really nice. So nothing, like completely nothing. There is some uh, comment where it's like normal comment, nothing, nothing bold called like a bot comments, like nice video, thank you or something like that. Some likes, two hundred twenty-nine views. Great, but he's not even monetizing the video properly, which is you can even suggest him just to put some link from Amazon. Whoever someone buy this, uh, you know, chainsaw, then he's going to make some good money from it. Other than that, no link whatsoever. No links whatsoever. Another very good candidate to you know for us to go with uh, with him to step two. Okay, that's like so. We've got like one. Uh, two, three, I think that's the one, that's two, that's three, three channels already. To finish this step, please find at least 10 channels and then you can go to step number two. But you see, it's very fast. You don't have to be worried about so much data. That's why I'm not talking about this, you know, plugs and everything. But just, just do just simple steps and go and go and just get these informations and we can go for step number two. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you understand why I divided uh, this main core section of the training into two separate steps. As you can see, it's quite a lengthy video. Just follow the step number one, find minimum 10 channels and let's go, and we'll go for the step number two. As I said, I'm going to release the step number two hopefully tomorrow or the day after. Uh, if you like to be uh, informed about next step, just please subscribe to my channel and push the notification bell. I hope to see you soon. All the best.